one of the elements that surprised me and that I really liked about this film was that it has this sort of strong uh, Buddhist influence, mm -hmm. um, especially in regards to your character. Uh, was that a product of your involvement or was that sort of always part of the film? Um, a little of both. I remember when I was first presented with the story, I saw I was uh, uh, happy to see that it, w it was an opportunity to create a modern day myth concerning technology. And, uh, and it already had some Buddhistic <laughs> elements in it. And, and uh, I'm very in interested in uh, uh, things Buddhist. And I have a, a dear friend, Bernie Glassman, who is uh, one of the foremost uh, Zen teachers uh, in the United States. And I asked him to come abo on board to give some input on that. On that. Interesting, because yeah, I actually spoke with uh, Garrett the other day, and he said that you were consulting with um, sort of guru, and I, I'm yeah. assuming that was Bernie. Bernie, yeah, absolutely. Um, did what sort of question did you ask him? Was it in regards to just the character, or the uh, he sat in uh, on story meetings and uh, would give his you know his thoughts, and uh, if I had questions, I would ask you know ask him different uh, different things. He was he made himself available to us. Wow, I feel almost like he should get a story credit. He should actually. That's a damn good thing. You know. You know that reminds me, Gene. Will we check on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he should get. He should get some credit. I didn't look for his name, but he should definitely get credit. Well, I guess if he's really into the Zen thing, he probably doesn't. He probably want doesn't. It. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't want credit. It's, uh, yeah. Not necessary, I guess. Um, what was your reaction after seeing the film? You know, complete. What was your reaction to seeing your sort of digital counterpart fully fleshed out? It was odd. It was a bit like, uh, you remember when you first heard your voice on a tape recorder? Yeah. You know how it sounds like, that's what I sound like? Or a little bit of that. Uh, and, it's, it, and it's really an interpretation of me at a younger age by d uh, different artists, you know, so it was interesting to see those, those interpretations. Well, uh, yeah, because I guess it's sort of like, this is how other people see me. Yeah, and that's something that you know you work, or I do anyway, when I'm making movies, to uh, call on, because the great thing about making movies is a communal art form. You get the benefit of all these other artists you know, zoning in. And I like to use those artists from you know, the directors, the writers, the you know, costume guys, the set guys, all those fellows, to help take me off of my own vision so I can uh, not just portray myself, you know, but it's something a little bit, yeah, it, it, it uh, expands the, uh, the sort of the bandwidth of the, of the character for me. Um, a few of my journalist friends upon seeing the film couldn't help but make allusions to uh, your Lebowski character. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like there's a little bit of a curse involved with that character that it's <laughs> followed you and that people compare? subsequent performances to yeah, it? Yeah, well, you know, like most things, uh, it's kind of a double-edged sword, you know, there's, and for me, the wonderful side uh, outweighs the, you know, any kind of uh, persona trap or anything like that. I mean, I love that movie. That's one of the best, best movies I've ever seen. I know I'm, I'm, I'm partial, you know, but even I think if I could remove myself out of that, I think uh, I would still love that movie. I mean, that, uh, they're, they're real masters. Yeah. Coen Brothers. I'm looking forward to seeing the next film. Yeah, and nice to meet your too. next collaboration yeah. with them. Um, it's very cool. All right, man. All right, nice.